Hira. Uh, Rotarian Kumar Narayan, uh, he, his, uh, I mean, Anit uh, Sanchit Narayan's birthday on October 12th. I thought I saw Kumar. Kumar is uh, very much here. Yeah, Kumar. Uh, he wants a date, uh, Divya. Thank you for your uh, sunshine of rupees, uh, rupees 500 for your Anit's uh, birthday. Uh, we have uh, Anit Preeti, daughter of Rotarian Prabhu, celebrated the birthday on October 18th. Past President Prabhu, wish your Anit a uh, very happy birthday. So thank you for your sunshine of rupees 2000. And we have P.P. Rotarian Surendra Kumar's birthday on December 27th. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> Wish you a very happy birthday, past President Surendra. Thank you for Shanshine of Rupees 2000. Please accept your gift. Thank you. Thank you. So after one double dhamaka, there's a triple dhamaka. Vivek, come with your purse here. <laughs> Vivek, Sayan. And it's Samaira's birthday and Sakshi's birthday and your birthday. <laughs> Yeah, our chief guest uh, mentioned that he's the most wealthiest person uh, at Rotary Club of Madras East. He wanted to do a GP, he's a digital guy, yeah. So that is uh, birthday, Three. birthday. And birthday, I mean daughter, his wife and himself. Yeah. Adikul, <laughs> I think he'll come for one more meeting. That's a gift for all three occasions. Yeah, I'll transfer. Thank you so much, uh, Vivek. Vivek, when is your birthday, uh, chief guest? Um, Rotarian Balamurgan, again, Anit, <laughs> Anit Moshika's birthday on uh, August 13th, Anit Naheshwar's birthday on September 7th, and Anne Rajavidya's birthday on September 27th. Please come and accept your gift uh, on behalf of your Anits and Anne. This is for Anits and Anne, right? <laughs> Thank you for your sunshine of rupees. 4, rupees 4,000. Mahesh, can you accept the cash? Thank you, sir. These two are for your annex and this is for your spouse. Thank you. Thank you so much, Divya. Thank you for that excellent sunshine announcement. Uh, I now call upon our green rotating Kumar Narayan to read the four-way test. Good evening, fellow Rotarians. Uh, it's my privilege to read the four-way test to all of you, just to remind our DNA. So this reminds me of when I was in uh, Hullard Packard in 1992, right? So you're an IT world. So uh, Mr. Packard came to me uh, once, otherwise he was pretty old, and he reminded us what is called the rules of the garage. And uh, so that was when I was a uh, management trainee at the time. So fresh from Berkeley into HP at the time. So uh, one such thing called, uh, which I still use it in my day-to-day -day life, what is called as trust, but verify. So when we are in the corporate world, the trust was the primary thing. We used to trust everybody, trust the employees, trust the customer, trust everybody. It was in our DNA. It was ingrained in us, right? So now when I was in IBM, there was another thing which I learned. So that was another uh, test, you can say, for a test with, uh, at the time, I'm not sure whether it, uh, you know Louis Gassner. So he was, I was in the management again, uh, leadership training with Lou, and uh, he wrote a book called Elephants Can Dance, right? So in that book, so I think I'm, I'm sure most of you would have read that. So in that, you know, uh, Jack was my, one of my, Jack Wells, uh, GCEO was one of the, uh, trainee at the time, a mentor for us at the time, for VPs, we all together in the leadership trainings, you know, he was one of our mentors. So one other uh, uh, takeaway, uh, which left on that is, uh, you know, two verticals, right? Jack always believes in two verticals, uh, capability versus integrity. 
So he always uses these two vectors to differentiate leaders. So it's very hard to find the leaders in the top uh, who got both high integrity and high capability, right? So I think, and then the other spectrums of the quadrants are different. So why I'm saying that in this four-way test is, you know, the, this is pretty much should be in our DNA, right? When we read this, it just reminds us about our DNA, and then we hopefully we practice that on an everyday basis. For me, those two things are still in my DNA. I think everything I do, and I, when I speak, when I do things with my people, with my employees, it comes in my DNA. That's because of 25 years of that uh, culture. Right? It is in their blood, you know, you can say that. So the same way I will try to read this uh, four-way test. It's more of a uh, commandments. First, <laughs> yeah. So the, is it the truth? Second, is it fair to all of us or all the all of us we are who are concerned, and will it build goodwill, right? So everything, we, what we do, should create some value and goodwill and better friendships. And the fourth, will it be beneficial to all concerned? So fairness, beneficial, so value, goodwill, and the truth. So these are, should be in our DNA. I just want to remind that. Thank you so much, Kumar. Part of the yep. DNA. Thank you so much, Kumar, for connecting the corporate world into the Rotary four-way test. That was really good. We now go on to some uh, project announcements. May I request uh, our club service director to make an announcement on the Paul Harris Cricket Carnival. Right, as you all aware, um, PHCC was uh, supposed to kick off uh, last week, but now we will kick off uh, on Saturday. So it's a confirmation again that the first match will be played on 8th, the Saturday, as per the schedule which has been shared, uh, we will wait because 9th is a lockdown, it's Sunday, uh, so there will be no uh, matches on that day. We will wait till the Sunday is over because the next uh, geo is expected on Sunday and based on that, further plans will be announced. I'd like to assure all of you that uh, the committee has got uh, sufficient backup plans and uh, they hope to take care of all eventualities as soon as the... Um, Clarity is achieved on the uh, lockdown. Um, post Sunday, further announcements will be made. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Suresh. Uh, our chief guest just told me that uh, he played the inaugural version of Polaris Cricket Carnival in 2001. And I believe he was the player of the tournament. He still has the trophy with him. That was great. We, we do have, yeah. We have, we have a book on uh, PHCC, uh, 25 years of PHCC. I'm sure I'll pick it up from that, yeah. Thank you so much. I request Rotary Nachepan to make an announcement on Environment Project. Good evening, all. It's my privilege to invite you all for the inauguration of Nutri Garden. Uh, it should be on uh, 8th January at 9 o'clock. Uh, inaugurated by uh, Honorable uh, Health Minister uh, Masubramaniam and uh, along with it like um, uh, Soumya Swaminathan, uh, WHO uh, also uh, c coming for that event. Along with that like GECC, um, Bedi will be present for that. Just small note about the project. Uh, among our uh, four uh, projects in environment, Nutri Garden also one of the project, and in that we have uh, it's a literacy, nutri literacy as well as uh, touch and feel uh, kind of garden uh, basically. We have uh, six zones and we have all the vitamin A, B, C, D, zinc. All the plants will be there. It is for the school students to come and get educated on the nutritional value of all the kitchen garden and uh, terrace garden. So I invite you all again for this particular inauguration. Thank you so much. Thank you, Naj. At this juncture, I'd like to thank the Tamil Nadu government, in particular the Greater Chennai Corporation uh, Commissioner for allocating four acres of prime land opposite Tidal Park to develop this garden. So the inauguration is on 8th. The minister and all other VIPs would be present for this inauguration. Thank you, Naj. And this is uh, one of the four projects of which Naj is doing. Apart from that, uh, he is going to, we have already signed an MOU for a 180 acre lake restoration in Nagaram. The project has already started because of the rain, I think it stopped for some time, it's going to restart again.
Thank you so much. I now request uh, Rotarian Sudarshan to make an announcement on the dialysis project. Good evening. Uh, <clears throat> make a difference is something which I feel is very loosely used. Most of the time it's about making someone happy, someone better, someone richer. But when you, to me what makes a dif make a difference means is when you see a situation or a person unable to financially unviable situations, medically irreparable situations that you are able to make a difference. To make their lives better, you really improve their quality of life. And that's what we are doing with the dialysis project. We have identified a place where it's underserved location in Chennai, which requires 10 dialysis machines. And we are setting up a center in an urban primary health center. And the project is expected to take off in February and I request all your support financially, morally, as well as in any other way that you can. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sudha. <coughs> this is, as Sudha said, is going to come up in government hospital in Vyasapadi. And uh, uh, just to share some information, the cost of doing a dialysis is approximately 13,000 rupees a month because a patient has to do four dialysis machine. Just imagine an income of an auto driver or a laborer is about 15,000. If he has to spend 13,000 rupees for dialysis, his family is ruined. So this is a project which we